Today's video, we will look into a scenario in which Italy forms an empire. No, not forms an empire, I mean, becomes a superpower. And we get rid of NATO because that wouldn't make sense with how this video works. There's Tunisia they could expand into, Switzerland, but they probably would lose, like Austria. How about Slovenia? Yeah, Slovenia sounds good. As they end up entering the Slovenian territory with 50,000 troops. Because why not? Well, Slovenia has 4,000 troops ready to fight. Yep, Slovenia got made weak. And Italy got made strong. And would 50,000 troops even be enough for this territory? Who knows? But they're so well trained and well equipped that they manage to take Slovenia out in five days. As you can tell, that makes, seems like a reasonable timeline. They lasted a f six days, six 24 hours times Denmark. Yep, they last six days times, yep. And you can imagine, as you can imagine, with Croatia being declared war on in Bosnia. So, Serbia's like, hey, we might as well help them. We won't get invaded if we help. As Serbia sends in its rebel forces, because why not? With a quick coastal seize by Italy, it seems like the fall of it happened. With Sl Serbia, with Serbia, Montenegro coming back, so Serbia gets a coast, yay. Mediterranean Sea seeming great to Italy, so Italy annexes Malta and then they go after Tunisia. As why can't they? With 250 troops. And they quickly established naval dominance and set up a naval blockade. While they have air dominance, they make a landing here. For some reason, I think that's the best spot to make a landing into Tunisia. If we're going to. As they move through the coast, they land here now at this point, because why not? They take all of the coast and Tunisia is forced to surrender due to the fact that's not very useful land. And with Serbia being close to Italy, but not really. Now the Italy's goal to take over the Mediterranean Sea, although they know that's not realistic. They go to war with Algeria. Their goal is to see if they can stretch across Algeria or not. They're trying to get across the coast as their goal. And they set up a safe zone over here so that they don't get invaded there. With them reaching the city of Algiers, but the battle goes on for a long time. They manage to take all the coast. But this is where Algeria wins the Battle of Algiers. And Italy knows that if they can't hold this, they're going to lose this war. With their goal being in the second battle just to take the city to get them to surrender. With them also making a spearhead down below it. With a spearhead then having another spearhead which meets with Algiers. Don't mind the fact that Algiers keeps changing location. Italy takes the city but they are pushed back slightly from this region. With them being willing to negotiate with Algeria because that's really what this war has gone to. Negotiations and Italy gets a favorable negotiation. Algeria wouldn't work. And they want to form a puppet over Libya and directly annex the north of Libya. Well, I'm starting operations here, as you would expect. Well, that's going good, mostly because this is not a stable country. They also make a landing here and one over here and a successful landing up here, which quickly turns into like this. This kind of looks like the war on Carthage. Yep, as you know. With Italy being what they think is like the Roman Empire. With the Cyprus annexation, Turkey's mad at them, but they do nothing. Wouldn't it be funny if I started a war between them at this point? But yeah. With their goal being to move all the way through the country. With this being where all the militaries are just weak because they have no water. Well, they do have water, but like you can tell there's nobody here. So they make a treaty that's favorable to Italy and favorable to the Libyan puppet. Let's see what it Italy. This becomes known as the French Defense Pact. Why? Because it's Turkey, France, 
and Egypt. Nations that don't want to be invaded. Some nations know they'll be invaded. With Italy demanding a vote in two countries. Albania, Kosovo, and Macedonia. Oh wait, that was three countries. And I know it's north from Macedonia, but as you know, I'm too lazy to call it that. With Greece, Bulgaria, and Serbia signing a defensive pact. Because they know what's happening with Italy having 500,000 troops ready for this conflict. With the rest, other nations, with the French defense pact. Because why not call it that? Because we can. With Germany being like, oh, we can Anschluss. Well, nobody's paying attention. Maybe also annex Czechia. Yeah, let's not pay attention to what they're doing. That's just not... Better not to know what they're up to than is to know what they're up to at this point. So with Italy, without further conflict, fine, that's supposed to be a joke, but as you know, it's not really. With them moving through here to cut it off, and then they move up here. Also, in this attack, they managed to take Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. And then moving in from the south in this area of the country with Vojvodina falling in Srpska. The second attempt at Yugoslavia has been proven to fail. With France having an alliance with Greece, and as you know, but we said we would get rid of alliances, I kind of lied. With France joining the war and Germany's like, wait, what? As Germany joins the war. Don't ask me what's going on, please just don't. Just Enjoy the video. Good thing they knew what was happening. With Germany going after Poland. Yep, as you can tell, this probably isn't that great that they're now working together. But yeah, at least Britain isn't involved. Britain's like, yeah, we're good. Italy can be the new Britain. Britain's like, we're not strong enough. Which they aren't. They're really just paper tiger. But yeah. With Italy knowing this day would come, they managed to do this. With Germany flying through Benelux and taking Paris. Because why not? With Italy actually maintaining its own fronts. With them moving all the way across thrice and taking the capital. And Italy makes a landing in the south. As we know, these lands, some of these lands Italy once was promised but didn't get. With Kurdistan declaring independence and revolting on the side of Turkey. Which means Turkey has just collapsed. With France refusing to surrender. That sounds weird, but yeah. With uh, moving down the Nile River because they can and taking the Sinai Peninsula. Because, yeah, they can. With France making a counter-offensive... And it pushes Germany and Italy back, splitting their fronts apart. But France eventually realizes their only bet is to negotiate at this point, and they do just that. The negotiations go unfavorable to France, but still favorable. Like, France doesn't have to pay war reparations and such. Um, the greatest Mediterranean power and has decided to make good relations with Spain, Gibraltar, or the UK, and Morocco, so they can have fair access. And Israel has made negotiations with them. Kurdistan is their ally, because I like Kurdistan for some reason. It's just so cool when you put Kurdistan on the map. I'm just saying. Like, one time Kurdistan is like this. Now look. Yeah. We kind of made a big Kurdistan. And as you can tell, Italy was like, yeah. Let's give Greece what they want, because Greece is a part of us, so we can do what we want. And Italy's like, yay, we reformed Greater Italy. And they call it the Neo-Roman Empire, because the word Neo sounds cool. But yeah, not necessarily. With their two puppets. Really, this is a colony, if you think. And then that's a puppet. So let's look, this is big with Greece, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria. Italy, and Africa. Why am I pointing my finger at it if you can't see me? But that's besides the point. Thanks, guys, for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys.